G'day, my name is Chris Mouflard. I'm a project engineer at Vico Software. Welcome to the Schedule Planner video training series level six using 4D Explorer. In this vignette, we're gonna show you how to define the simulation settings and how to play the 4D presentation. Let's get going and navigate from the Define 4D simulation to the Explore 4D in the level six of the Schedule Planner workflow. We can note that the 4D view is now a 3D view combined with the Schedule Planner data, which is now in the full screen. Let's start by exploring our ribbon. Our first option is to set the 4D presentation mode. This allows us to cycle through the 4D group sets that we've created. This will also use the colors and behavior that we set to portray each of the elements in the 3D model as it runs through the simulation. Let's select the concreter presentation mode. Note that when we select the concreter 4D presentation mode, that the 4D task group legend is, is opened. Each color is linked to the 4D group sets that we just defined. Our next option is to define the 4D simulation settings. We can start by showing or hiding the date and day stamps and the week counter. These will appear in the top left hand corner and give us a better idea of the timeline. I suggest keeping the show unassigned 3D elements unchecked. This will remove any unplanned elements which are not connected to the subcomponents of our simulation. We can now set the element appearance after completion. I suggest the CAD coloring as this gives us the view of the finished product per the model. The 3D elements with pending tasks appearance refers to coloring which is applied to 3D model elements between activities on the same element. Where no work is occurring but could maybe occur, this helps us visualize where we could optimize the schedule. Within this dialog, we can isolate the color. I suggest using a bright bold color so that we can quickly identify the areas. We can also define the transparency. In this case, we're going to go with zero transparency to leave the pending tasks as bold as possible. We can also define the legend, which can be static or dynamic. I prefer static, as when it's dynamic, it continues to change and may take the focus away from the simulation. Let's check out the movie and snapshots tab. We can define the increments and intervals which the simulation will be presented. Depending on the audience or duration of the project, you may want to adjust this to week or longer duration intervals to help in presenting information when showcasing a simulation. Let's keep our increments in weeks, but change the intervals to one second. Let's click OK to save our simulation settings. We can now navigate to the bottom toolbar, press the play button, and select the orbit tool. We can navigate around our construction model as it's presented in the simulation. We can also head to the current date function. If we plan on zooming ahead into the future, we can select a date in the future to see what the model would look like at that point in time. In this vignette, we've shown you how to define the 4D settings to enhance the 4D simulation. We've also shown you how to navigate during the simulation to understand the plan. And we've also shown you how to adjust the simulation while it is playing for instant updating.